Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Um, uh, here's something that I'm very puzzled by. This is the question that I want to ask. Uh, the million dollar question. I'm just puzzled. You know, I can make some phone calls and and ask questions, but I'm gonna leave it alone as far as doing all that. You know, I don't feel like doing this personal research, but this is my thing. Um. I'm just real puzzled why they won't be a multi-city tour to promote this showdown, this rematch between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. Unless there's going to be heavy advertisement, you know, and ESPN's commercial rotation to promote this fight. Then I don't know. Um, I just find it strange. You know, I, I just find it strange. You would think a fight of this magnitude would have at least a, a three city world tour to promote this fight. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Deontay Wilder said that he was going to start camp uh, this week, but well, he, he might already start a camp. And once again, this is going to be a very uh, um, short camp, but Deontay Wilder, he takes care of himself. So uh, he stays in shape. You know, he he takes care of himself. I think he said he's a vegan. I, I don't know for sure. You know, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to put out false information. But I think Wilder said he's a vegan or he he's going vegan. So, you know, but um, I am really puzzled why there isn't a a press tour. You know, um. Because at the end of the day, the, the objective is to try to promote this fight and try to sell as many, uh, you know, pay-per-views and basically um, actual tickets to the physical location of the fight, you know, sell as many tickets as possible. The, uh, the objective is to promote this fight, sell this fight, have a good gate and have a good pay-per-view, you know, a good live gate. And a good pay-per-view equals extra money for everybody involved. But I, I'm just wondering why there isn't a press tour. You know, I understand they can't go everywhere, but I do think they could have had one in L.A., New York, and possibly uh, and then London. And then, you know, basically, you know, they part ways and then they head into training camp. So, you know, because for the numbers that Bob Aram has laid out and is expecting, well, this I'm just keeping it 100. It's not on pace to do those type of numbers. Now, if it does, it'll be great. I hope it does. But, you know, if you a guy that's been doing this for as long as I have, you kind of look at the pace they're on and what type of numbers they're going to do. But only time will tell. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.